Welcome back to the Stacks Trade Daily Recap. Today is August 2nd. Uh, low float, dry bulk shipping madness continues. So uh, watching Fitbit here after hours, recording this a little after four. Um, if you trade uh, earnings, I never recommend trading before they come out. But, uh, you know, you can see you've got the uh, news in your stocks trade news feed here. And, uh, you know, huge gap down and then a rip right back to highs. So, I mean, there was a – it's – I don't really like that strategy. But you can lots of times just kind of set an order way below you ever think you're going to get filled and go a small size and sometimes they'll work. But um, OPTT – has been a solid, solid winner from the uh, weekend watch list. I mean, was down, I don't even remember, 20%, or uh, it was down a lot yesterday. SSR is on. Again, if you don't know what the SSR is, it's short sell restriction. We talk about that a lot in Stocks of Trade Pro. Um, you know, down another 9% today. Closed literally on the low of the day. I mean, this thing... You know, we called it out as a potential swing short sell. I mean, this thing could just keep making, you know, it has the potential to go down 8% a day till who knows when. Tops um, has been the play of the, of the week for sure. It was the play. It was a solid play last week. Huge gap up yesterday. Gapped up a little bit this morning. We kind of saw it in the 740s. And, you know, and that's when we tweeted about it. I mean, you would have, I mean, it hit 840, but... So fast. I mean, huge rip. Tough to play. Um, kind of faded a little bit in intraday, but then, you know, it, it kind of put in this base at yesterday's low at 6. Um, very low float. Could continue tomorrow. And then ship picked up. I mean, these are the uh, your, your sympathy type plays, which, again, we talk about in Stocks to Trade Pro a lot. I mean, this thing... Is, is just as big or, or bigger of a carcass as tops, but that doesn't matter once you get some interest. And I mean, you see here, uh, you know, not much interest, and then volume comes in right before 10, and then goes from 370 to, you know, basically doubles in in in, th in six minutes, where these three two-minute candles. So that's the power of low floats. And, and, you know, and I know we talk about it all the time recently, but that is where the action is. Uh, I posted a blog post about this today. One thing that I, uh, it's a very, very small feature, but I literally look at it a hundred, well, maybe not a hundred, but some days, probably a hundred times a day, is just the float indicator here. Uh, used to go to Yahoo Finance, I don't know how many times a day, back and forth, browser window, back and forth, back and forth. Now I've got it right here in one spot. And now that Yahoo Finance is redesigned, I mean, I'm sure somebody will tweet me and say the float's here, but I tried finding it, gave up in two seconds. I know I've got it right here with my chart, with my level two. That's the beauty of Stocks to Trade is we're trying to make it as efficient as possible and put everything in one spot. So check out that blog post. It's pretty short, but it's just kind of going over a little bit of background on low floats and as well just kind of where to find that in your Stocks to Trade. So thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.